since this is a prep school based podcast slash YouTube channel, um, and that's our main clientele here, can you guys break down how high schoolers or potential prep school players or postgrads can take advantage or at least what advice you would give them to start thinking about when it comes to NIL and maybe their futures? So Ryan, if you want to hit the legal part of it and then I'll give the, uh, what advice would you give them? So as far as it goes for the high school athletics, it's a st and again, state by state. So your high school athletic association uh, has bylaws and within those bylaws, it will state whether or not a high school athlete is able to make money off of the name image and likeness. For example, Kentucky, a high school athlete is unable to make money off of their name image and likeness. California, conversely, you are able to make money off of your name image and likeness. So it goes by a state by state issue, uh, state by state. Um, I, I can, off the top of my head, um, it's and it's different all around. For example, Michigan is a lot like Kentucky, where uh, high school student athletes are not able to make money unless you, uh, the individual, can petition the high school athletic uh, um, association. So it's different from state to state. Yeah, um, and, and then in regards to you know advice and preparation, and Corey, we can dive into a little bit about pre uh, prep schools for a second. Um, they are not a part, many of them are not a part of their state associations. Um, in which case, um, Ryan Maxwell, unless I'm mistaken, um, that it, it essentially would make an athlete ineligible with their state high school association if they did an NIL deal. However, if you play for you know, uh, a team that is not a part of the uh, state association, you actually could do NIL deals at that point. And we've seen for example, Mikey Williams is, is famous um, and has been cashing in on his name, image, and likeness because he's not playing for a, you know, a state association school. He can still continue to play. And with different leagues popping up, like Corey, you and I talk about overtime, we, you know, and just all the different things going on, that becomes less relevant for, for players at that level that are choosing to go that route. Now, in regards um, to advice and preparation for this, um, there's many reasons why I think that NIL is a great thing. Um, some personal reasons, um, personal for the athlete themselves and be able to help that. But one of the reasons is um, businesses want to do business with um, a brand, an athlete brand that is positive. And so what we're finding is, is that um, athletes are actually being motivated to be on their best behavior mm -hmm. um, and to put forth a brand that is going to be um you know, acceptable to businesses and to the masses. And this actually doesn't, it does have something to do with um, on the field or on the court play, but actually there's quite a few people that have large social media followings that are not the best players in the country, but they're interesting. Um, mm -hmm. They might have a YouTube channel or a TikTok or an Instagram or Twitter or, or any number of social medias that for whatever reason has been interesting and they've grown a following and they might be the backup tight end. Um, however, because of that, and because of that reach, businesses are willing to partner with them on NIL deals just because of their following. And so, um, I would tell any athlete watching this or anybody that's trying to, that would want to help an athlete prepare for college, prepare, prepare for their NIL is be very aware and intentional of your brand, um, at all times. And that typically means best behavior. It typically means, um, even showcasing that good behavior, community give back. One of the things that we talk to our athletes about when they come on with Virtus is that um, we want to assist them in becoming legendary, which is different from just being a, a great athlete. Um, when you're a legend, that means that you're tied into your community. Mm -hmm. That means that people um, associate themselves with you and connect with you on a level deeper than just what you do on the court or on the field. Um, that's the different level. And so um, being mindful of that, it, it's a, it is a different type of approach, but all athletes that are interested in wanting to um, make money and earn off of their name, image, and likeness should really start to take that into account, their behavior on the court and their behavior off the court and how intentional they are with those things.